In today's video, we'll be making a beautiful detailed structured design you can use to design your clothes. Now for the items, I need a regular burning. This is a sewable one and a fabric of your choice. This is my leftover fabric and I need a crinoline. I'm using two inches crinoline for it. So guys, let's get started. So I'm using a designed fabric. You can go ahead and use a plain one if you want or designed one. So I'm having two fabric here. Now the first thing to do is to measure out the fabric. I'm using four inches for the width and 30 inches. So I'm, I'll go ahead and cut out 30 inches for the length. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Now we are having two pieces. So depending on how many you want to make, but this is for the tutorial. I will just use these two and show you how to do it. You can go ahead and make it three or four, depending on how you want it to come out. So I will go ahead and cut. The next thing to do now is just to sew it. I'll fold it into two. Then I'll go to my sewing machine now and sew. After then, I'll show you the next thing I'll do. So now I'm through with the sewing. I've sewn it straight. Remember, it's on fold. So the next thing I'll do is to turn it to the right side. Now I've turned it to the right side of the fabric. I'll then place the same line at the middle facing up upward you can see the same line is facing upward at the middle now i'll go ahead and insert my cranial line in it i'll measure it out and double it it will be doubled i'll then go ahead and insert it Now I'll cut off the excess screen line. I'll do the same thing to the second one. Measure it out and double it. Then insert it in the fabric. Now I've trimmed the SS screen line. You can see both of them. Okay, after I will trim off the SS, you can see the structure have already come out very well, but I want it to be very firm. You can see if you fold it is still okay but i want it to be very strong so i'll go ahead and add a casing i'll sew a casing to the right side and the left side of the strip where i will insert my boning regular boning for it to be more stronger i'll go ahead and sew the both side of two of them after then, I'll show you the next thing I'll do. So guys, I've sewn a casing for my original boning. So I'll go ahead and insert it.
Now I've inserted one. I'll cut it out. And see, it's getting more firm than only crinoline. So I'll go ahead and insert another one on the second side. Remember why putting it, always follow the circular shape. If you do it the wrong way, you will get a wrong shape. So you go ahead and follow it this way. So this 3D structure detail, very, very firm to give you a beautiful shape that will last. It's not really easy. So you go ahead and push, push it until you insert all of them. It's a bit strong because I created a very fitted casing for it. Now I'll cut off the remaining and see. I'll go ahead and insert the boning, reginite boning in the second one. So guys, after inserting my reginite burning, you can see how the shape looks very firm. So with this, you can create any design of your choice. You can use it and create a wonderful design like so. And see, make sure the seam line is at the damp part can use it to create so you can use it and create any design you can use it and make it you place it this form anyhow you want to use it and see Can use it and create any design of your choice. Can actually twist it like so and see. Anyhow, you do it, it comes out very beautiful. I use it and create keyhole design. So guys, I hope this video is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified. Anytime I upload a new video, give it a thumbs up, share to your friends, and bye until I see you in my next video.
Bye.